Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to export board here in Trello. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Trello, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Exporting data from a Trello board can be useful for backup purposes, sharing information, or analyzing data outside of Trello. Because, for one, regularly exporting your Trello board ensures that you have a backup in case of accidental deletion or if the board becomes inaccessible. Okay? Now, for us to be able to export a board, if you haven't already, you might want to click on the or this button to create your first board you can create your board title you can choose the visibility for example private wherein only members can see this board or you can go for the workspace where you can invite collaborators within your board or you can go to public where in anyone in the internet can open the board that you are currently working with or you can simply start with a template to make it a lot easier. You can choose from multiple templates. When you click on the explore templates, you have all of these at your disposal. In my case, I'm going to be using this one. Design project template. Yeah, I'm going to be choosing this one. Wait for it. Click on the use template. Or, so again, you can rename that. And that's going to be fallen to the Andy's Guides workspace. I'm going to click on create. And wait for it to load okay now the fun part is for you to be able to uh export this is just click on the power-ups right and then click the add power-ups and you would be forwarded here to search for the uh, type into the search bar board export i believe that that's board export now click on add after that all you have to do is just follow the on-screen instructions and then click on add just wait for it because you're authorizing the app here on trello now after that you need to sign in with trello obviously click that and of course you need to allow you see you'll be using your personal board which is one and and these guides for boards click on allow click on next and then click on the uh, take me to my board. What will happen is it would be forwarded here. Just wait for it. Now you see there's going to be an option that says board export. All I'm going to do, there's going to be a drop down here by collecting. You can use select all these information. For example, if you want to select all click on export lists all right because the idea is exporting your board will allow you to access your trailer data offline which i find it very useful during travel or in areas with poor internet connectivity now you have an option to select and format um here in trello you can click on the image via pdf png csv or excel you have an option to remove any parts of the field that you wanted that if it, you think is not relevant. And of course, by exporting this, it can serve as a strategic operational needs to make a valuable feature for your teams and organizations. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.